Hello everyone, I'll welcome back. Yeah, it's a spooky day today. It's dark and drizzly and really foggy. So yeah, it's one of those days where you just want to curl up and go to sleep. Um, but anyway, um, I've had a tension headache for the past three days and I've been tempted to lay down all day, but I'm trying to stay awake. So I thought I'd do a video just to kind of wake me up here. So I do have a haul um, from Winners, Marshalls, uh, Home Sense, uh, my little trio of uh, stores there. And yeah, I just got a variety of things here. Body care, home decor, candle, etc, etc. So yeah, I did get a ton of bunnies. Now every year I tell myself, Heidi, you're just going to buy one bunny. That's it. One bunny, home decor, no more. And well, they just, this stuff, I just couldn't walk away from them. They kept calling my name like, Heidi! So, uh, yeah, I did get a lot of bunny stuff this year. So, anyway, I will start, I guess, with the one candle. Now, I haven't uh, bought too many candles at the discount stores. They're just getting too expensive. And um, there's none that really kind of caught my eye or caught my sniffer or what have you. Um, and DWs are getting up there. But I did find one DW. And this one was a... 15 ounce and it was $14.99. Wouldn't want to spend any more though for a DW. Uh, this is the Raw Honey and Neroli. Now this smells a lot like their, oh I should have brought it in for, maybe I have one here. Oh yeah I do. Look at that. I do have one here. Um, it smells a lot like this Wild Honey Nectar which is, I've always had great luck with this candle. It, um, it's very strong throw. I, I usually use it as an odor buster. Uh, it's very, very strong. A very deep, rich, heavy almost uh, honey scent. And then this one is uh, raw honey and neroli. And the scent notes are uh, sugared fruits and orange blossom honey stirred with soft peach and delicate hints of garden flowers. Uh, but they don't mention the neroli except in the name. Uh, but this one is lighter. It's not as, oh, sorry. Are you okay? Oh, sorry. Um, it's not quite as heavy and deep as that one. Yeah, this one is a much more tamed down version. You can, uh, get, uh, that, like, almost like a sugary kind of floral in there. I don't know about Neroli. I don't, I love the smell of just straight up Neroli. I just love it, but I don't, necessarily pick it up here but yeah this is much different this is heavy duty like this is really deep and rich and this is much lighter and I do get a bit of that floral but it's very pretty it's a two wick and then um I found this Senorita Margarita by Philosophy shampoo shower gel and bubble bath and yeah, this one really smells good. And it was actually on clearance for $12. And it wasn't open. It still had the seal on it when I tried it. Uh, yeah, you don't see philosophy on clearance too often there. And yeah, it's just uh, it's just like a lime margarita. Oh, it's, it's really good. It'd be nice, really nice in the summertime. Oh, got some on my nose. But yeah, that really, oh, very, very refreshing. And then I did get um, She Aromatherapy Rose and Lychee Body Scrub. Now this She Aromatherapy, I've had um, a few of different scents from them in the past and I really, really love their scents. And it doesn't leave that really kind of greasy, oily feel on your skin after. You just feel nice and smooth and moisturized. And this puppy, man, this is just filled right up to the top. Oh, it's so pretty. You can smell that sweet rose scent, uh, but you get that fruity scent with it. And I love rose scents with a blend of either a powdery musk or a fruit or what have you, but this one smells so delicious. And this was, just, you get quite a bit in here, 20, 21 ounces or 575 grams, um, so over a pound. Um, so you get quite a bit. I think it was $6.99. Yeah, $6.99. So that, this lasts quite a while. So that's rose and lychee. Oh, just 
lovely. And then, okay, some of my rabbits. I better get to some of my rabbits. So is this guy not adorable? Um, <laughs> this is a little rabbit, has a little cu cup of coffee or tea. Um, looking at the laptop there. Oh, I thought that was so cute. Now, I was going to put these in the garden. I spend most of my time in the backyard instead of the front porch, just because the dogs, um, they run loose, and I don't want them running loose in the front yard. Uh, but I'm just, I, they're going to knock these over because they get quite wild in the backyard. So uh, I might just keep this inside. But isn't he adorable? Sitting on the little tree stump there, drinking his coffee and the laptop. And then the other rabbits that I saw is this uh, mum or dad reading a book to the little baby bunny there. And as soon as I saw this, it reminded me of when the kids were little. They absolutely loved when I read to them. So um, I just had book after book after book in their rooms. And I would sit down for a good hour after they had their bath in the evening. I would sit down and I would read for an hour. I'd had to have drink all the time because I was like completely parched. But they absolutely loved books and I just loved reading to them. It was just such a nice, fun time. And yeah, that was just so cute. Oh, just love that. And then another thing I'm going to get for the garden, and this should survive the dogs, okay? Actually, I'll put, probably put this in the front step. And it's just this little trio of birds. Now, this inside, it's a little bit shallow, uh, but it'll be perfect for hens and chicks. They don't need a whole lot of dirt or even some succulents also. I'll put some succulents in there. Uh, but yeah, they were really, really sweet, those birds there. So that'll probably go on the front step there. Okay, uh, what else did we get? Uh, Rabbit-wise, uh, it's a little tea light holder with these two little rabbits on it. Oh, so cute. Just their little ears. Oh, our little Oliver was another little dwarf, so he had like um, really dark brown fur and then lighter brown fur, and his little ears were just, oh, just so cute. Now I was going to get this as a candle holder. Um, I wasn't sure about the opening. Um, I did try some DW candles um, in the store, and they fit okay. Yeah, like this DW fits okay. Uh, but then when I got home, I tried some Bath & Body Works and Yankees, and they didn't quite fit because the the egg kind of curves in a bit. So um, I'll just use it for like DWs or other candles that'll fit in or even a, like a little plant. Um, but that's a little bunny rabbit, and he's sitting beside this little cracked open egg. So, I mean, you can use this for a lot of different things. You want to use it for a candy dish or what have you. And then, uh, oh, I did get some Twain's chai tea latte for the Keurig machine. And normally, I think these are about $9 Canadian or 10 depending on where you, where you go. But these were $4.99, and you get 10 in each package. And I do have the, oh, I can't remember the other one I have. Um, but yeah, I, I really love chai, chai lattes. And uh, I did get a couple of um, face masks, and these are really a good make. So if you can find them, I, I do recommend these. And this is by Dewey Tree, and this is Madacassisi, which is very calming and uh, soothing uh, for really dry or irritated skin. And um, you do get, I think you get 10... For twelve ninety nine, it'll probably be like nine ninety nine in the states, but uh, ten for thirteen dollars Canadian. This is a very good make, so it it is a very good price. And I did try it the other night, and it's it's different from other masks. It has um, instead of that clear gel that you have with a lot of masks, this one is like a a, a milky thick essence. Um, so yeah, I put it on and then I have still have a ton left over. So I do have those little compressed masks. So I'm going to just make my own mask with the remaining solution. Uh, so in a way, you kind of get two masks in one if you have those little compressed masks. 
uh, you can use those to make your own but there's a ton of solution and it's uh, just a really good make and I've talked about the Yada mask before and I they're finally back in the discount stores and I really like the Yada ones they have a ton of solution it, it absorbs quite nicely I love the feel of the mask they're thin and very soft now this one has uh, snail snot in it, as I call it, or snail mucin. It says it has collagen, but it's it's actually in the snail mucin. Um, you can't really put collagen on your face because the molecules are, are too big to get absorbed. Um, so I really wasn't too worried about that part. But I mean, it does have snail mucin in it. And uh, there's a, other ingredients in here too. Um, that are quite moisturizing like uh, hyaluronic acid and of course glycerin um, and uh, other really nourishing kind of ingredients so I really do like this Yada brand and I was happy I could find it again and this was uh, 10 masks for uh, $9.99 and then there's uh, Makeup Revolution and now these are called the Reloaded Palettes and these are the eyeshadow for Make Makeup Revolution is very hit and miss. There's some that are really good and some that aren't so good. These Reloaded palettes um, are fairly good. Um, the reviews, is, I think this is the first one, or maybe I had another one, I just can't remember. Um, but this one's called Red Alert. And uh, I just absolutely love the colors in here. Um, and they are fairly pigmented. But, I mean, the true test, of course, is on the eyes. But right there, I mean, the, the mattes are really, really uh, quite creamy in that. So um, they had uh, quite a few of these in the discount stores. And they were just $8. Um, so, yeah, this Reloaded palettes, uh, I've heard good things about them. So I bought this little, this is from Yes Style, the online Asian store and I just bought it for my my uh, beauty blenders there <laughs> a cute little bicycle and um, Oh more rabbits Rabbit tea cloths uh, Jules picked that out but They're oh, so cute and I got little sheep for uh, Sheep toys for the the dogs. I love sheep for the Easter too. I think that they're just adorable and I found this shirt I think in Marshall's uh, I'd rather be exploring and yeah anything with trees on it you can see the stars and moon in the back the background there is so pretty and then um, keep our sea plastic free so yeah I'm really trying to cut down on plastics everything gets recycled um, and I also bought some beeswax wrap which I should have brought up to show you uh, off Amazon so instead of using plastic wraps all the time for leftovers or wrapping up food or whatever I do have this beeswax wraps and yeah I just trying my hardest to cut back on plastics and recycle everything and anywho um so I think that's it guys so yes I have little invasion of bunny rabbits but that's fine with me and anyway so I, I hope you enjoyed um everyone take care give your loved ones a hug and kiss and we'll see you soon bye bye